Welcome to the Windows channel and this is another creator's update highlight. Once again, this one about the Windows Defender Security Center. And we will take a look, if we right click on the icon on the bottom right, and click open, we'll take a look at firewall and network protection. So first of all, what does it show? It shows the state of your private or public networks. What's the difference between a private and a public network? Very simply, your home network should be a private network because it is your home network at home and it can be discoverable because only the computers you have in your home can see it. So normally that is the way it's configured. Public, non-discoverable, that means, for example, public Wi-Fi. And why it's non-discoverable is very simple, is because you want to pretty much lay a low profile when you are connected to a public Wi-Fi. Both connections gives you the type of firewall. Is it on or off? And it tells you, is it connected or not connected to public or to private um, Wi-Fi, basically. Then you have allow an app through firewall. So basically, this brings you to the control panel and tells you that you know, shows you the state of every app and programs in your computer and gives you the state of is it public or you know it's it's is it capable of using public or private networks in order to work also you've got network and internet troubleshooter this brings you to the general troubleshooter we'll talk a little in an, another video and this uh, one has internet connection here troubleshooter so you can click and run the troubleshooter yeah, that you know troubleshooter is a 50 50 chance if you don't have internet if something is wrong in your network what you could do is run it and you have 50 50 percent chance of it working the other 50 percent is you'll have to uh, really you know take a look a little more seriously and have a little more knowledge in knowing why you might not have internet for example then you've got firewall notification settings this one tells you first of all you can receive recent activity and scan results from your antivirus. You've got virus and threat protection settings, once again, here available. You've got a Windows firewall notification settings. So, for example, it'll tell you if you have a new app that wants to connect to the Internet. Hey, this app wants to connect. Are you, uh, do you agree or not to this? So that's uh, notifications from there. Advanced settings gives you only a yes or no. And the reason why is if you click yes, that means that you allow the settings in th this app right now to make uh, the necessary changes required to your system. If you do not do that, it will not give the permission to the app to change anything. And finally, you think you've messed up, or you think something might be wrong, you can click Restore Firewalls to Default. That means it defaults everything to what is usually the um, normal settings in Windows. Um, simply that. So this was a quick look at the firewall and network protection in your Windows 10 Security Center. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.